<laughs> I, I don't get it. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> is it is it that he's fat? Is that the joke? Oh god. Well, the real joke is on all of y'all because he still has the best goddamn message in this movie. And I'm going to explain why. I think we've all seen this trend going around on YouTube. The trend where some of your favorite movie YouTubers talk about one marvelous scene. A scene from any Marvel movie that just was marvelous to them, for whatever reason. A very detailed description, I know. I'm not sure if it's an exclusive thing that specific YouTubers were asked to do or not. I may well be just sliding into this party uninvited. But I don't care, because this seems fun and I want to join in on this trend. However, I've held off on making my own video of this because my favorite Marvel scene is actually from Endgame. So naturally, I didn't want to make it right on the release of the movie because of spoilers. But now that I think significant time has passed, maybe there are still a few people lagging behind, I don't know, I believe now is an appropriate time to talk about my favorite Marvelous scene, which I call, I Am Still Worthy. This scene is so goddamn unappreciated, yo. Sure, it's not cap-wielding Mjolnir or the final Avengers Assemble, but this scene carries significant emotional weight for the character and us, the viewers. Honestly, minus the fat jokes, I believe Thor's character was handled incredibly well during this section of the movie. After Infinity War, we see that Thor has changed drastically. He stays home playing Fortnite with his friends, drinks excessively to numb the pain away, and is fat. They really do a good job at trying to remind you that he's fat. While a lot of people may have been uncomfortable or just outright hated this change, I thought it was a natural progression for his character. Even before the snap, Thor had suffered a multitude of significant losses. His hammer, his mother, his father, his home, his people, and his brother. We've seen Thor cope with some of these and even grow stronger because of them. But witnessing everyone disappear right in front of him, and knowing the same thing is happening across the universe, was just too overwhelming for him. The strongest Avenger, by his own words, was incapable of preventing the greatest loss in the universe. We even see Thor using a combination of defense mechanisms commonly associated with loss and anxiety when talking about Thanos, specifically repression and rationalization. Defense mechanisms are used by the mind to protect ourselves from distressing events, thoughts that are too uncomfortable or painful to face directly. And for Thor, it's the thought about losing half of the universe's living creatures to Thanos and being powerless to do anything about it. Repression is when the mind pushes threatening events into the unconscious, meaning it tries to not even be aware of its existence. Although we are never told, I believe it is safe to say that Thor hasn't acknowledged his loss in the last five years, since he bans the mere mention of Thanos. We even see him shift from being welcoming towards his friends to practically threatening Banner to never say that name again. He's been actively avoiding the topic to hopefully be able to push it out of his mind, because it is too painful for him to not only remember that loss, but to also feel at fault for it. It doesn't matter if no one else blames Thor. What matters is that he probably blames himself. He doesn't state it, but his rationalization makes it clear. Rationalization is a defense mechanism that involves distorting the facts of an event so that it is less threatening to your mind. Thor gloats about being the one to kill Thanos in response to Banner questioning if he's doing okay. It makes him feel better highlighting that he did the final blow, rather than recognizing that he killed Thanos only after he had already wiped out half of the universe. Keep in mind that the only reason Thanos had the chance to was because Thor wanted to watch him suffer a little bit. He tries to repress the events of Infinity War and rationalize his fake victory because he's internalized the universe's loss. He's trying to avoid the guilt that comes with realizing half of the universe 
is gone because of him. And again, it doesn't matter if we don't recognize that he's at fault. It doesn't matter if any of the Avengers don't blame him. It doesn't matter if anybody still alive doesn't blame him. What matters is that he most likely blames himself. Thor clearly has had issues coping with his loss, which has led him to be just full on depressed. No, he isn't sulking to himself or constantly brooding as much as Jon Snow, but try to remember that this is what depression can look like. Besides, there's also his isolation and alcoholism. With the exception of Korg and Meek, Thor keeps himself isolated from the rest of his people, only ever coming down to restock on beer to fuel his newly found addiction. Both are telling signs of depression. He is at the lowest he's ever been in his life, and now he suddenly has another opportunity to be the hero, to correct that mistake. But when it's time to perform, he freaks out. All of that internalized failure is going to come rushing back into his head during this moment. For as strong as he is, he's been powerless to stop so many tragedies. It's safe to say Thor doesn't really think highly of himself, and if he messes up now, then there is absolutely no more hope left. So a panic attack before the moment of truth and then running away like a coward is an appropriate response. What, did you think Rocket slap and little speech was gonna bring him back to form? A slap in the face might be what you need if you have some stage fright before giving a speech or a big performance, but it is not what will undo years of being in a depressive rut. It was only after giving himself the opportunity to speak honestly about his trauma with someone who showed genuine support that he was able to have some hope in himself again. And then comes my favorite scene, where he tries to call on his trusty hammer Mjolnir, the hammer that is enchanted to only be wielded by those who are worthy. Whatever that means, it, it honestly wasn't really established that well in the movie. And then, to Thor's surprise, it flies into his hand. Seeing Thor's happiness at the realization that he is still worthy had me grinning in my seat like a goddamn fool. We just established that Thor has been at the lowest point in his life, obviously having trouble coping with his loss to the point that it has left him in a depressed state for years. Thor, and like many others who suffer from depression, do not have the highest opinions of themselves. Depression makes you feel like you're not worthy of anything, like you're incapable of doing anything, or even being loved by anyone. But that's the beauty of this scene, because while Thor may be going through a depressive time in his life, it doesn't take anything away from what made him an individual, which speaks about an even greater message. Whatever you're going through, whatever condition you may be suffering from, it doesn't define you. You are still worthy. And if any of y'all are hating on Fat Thor, then none of y'all deserve him in his prime. Bunch of fake shallow asses, leave my boy alone!